In this tutorial, we are going to look at basic animation in Unity. So, um, basically moving, rotating, and scaling 3D objects in Unity. This is not a tutorial on um, rigging and animating characters. It's a tutorial on animating 3D objects within Unity. So, just to start with, I have a scene here. I've got a terrain, I've got some water, um, I've got lighting set up. I've got a first person controller that can move around this scene and I've got a cube here which has a red um, shader applied to it. So this is the 3D object here, the cube that I'm going to actually animate and to animate it I need to open up the animation window. So I can click on window and go to animation. Alright, that will bring up this animation panel here. Now I can click and drag this tab onto another panel and it will lock it onto the, it will lock the window onto this panel here as well so that I can just have my animation um, properties down here and see my um, scene up here and just have it all neatly organized. So I've got a project console and I've got the animation tab there. All right, so select the object that you want to animate, in this case the cube. And to start the animation, you need to click on Add Property. Now, it will ask you to um, create a new, anim anim new animation for the game and for that particular object and to save it into a folder within your Assets folder. So I'm just going to save it to the main Assets folder and I'm going to call it Move uh, Cube. Well, actually, Animate Cube. It will be more than just moving it. And then Save. Okay, so now after clicking on add property and saving that animation, I can animate a few different properties here. So in this tutorial, we're just going to work with the transform properties. So if I click next to transform, I've got position, rotation, and scale. We'll start with position. So click the plus next to that. And then you can see here we've got cube position there in the list. And on the timeline here, we can start moving backwards and forwards on the timeline and changing the position of this cube. So at this point on the timeline where I've got the red bar right at the beginning of the timeline, I want my cube to be here, but I want to move further along the timeline and have the cube over here instead. Okay, so now if I drag that red bar backwards and forwards, we can see the movement of that cube. All right, now it's on a loop as well, and at the end here, it goes back to the original position. So if you have a look at the values up here, which have gone red next to position because it's being animated, you'll see that it starts at X393, Y31.1, 623.7, and the values will change as it gets to here, but then it will go back to those same values again. So it's looping. All right, so if we go and click play, and you notice these buttons are red as well, so saying that there's an animation on this object. If we play it and have a look at the scene, you can see that there's an animation there. All right, so we've basically just animated the position of this 3D object. Now if we click on Add Property, the arrow next to Transform, and the plus next to Rotation, we can also animate the rotation. So I'm going to get this cube to rotate around about here on the timeline. So I'll grab the rotation tool and just rotate it a little bit on these different axes. Okay, so now I can see on the rotation property here on this row, there's a new keyframe there to say that something happens with the rotation there. All right, so you can see it's sort of spinning around. And lastly, we'll click on add property, transform, and then scale. So we can animate the scale. So about halfway, here on this loop, I am going to grab the scale tool. So halfway on the timeline in this loop that we created, grab the scale tool and I'm going to scale it up. All right, so now if we drag this red bar backwards and forwards, it's small, it's rotating, it's moving, it's getting bigger, and then it's getting smaller as so it gets, gets bigger, it gets smaller, it rotates and it moves. All right, we'll click on play. Run that scene, and there we go. If we have a look, the cube is um, changing in size, it's changing location, 
and it's rotating a bit as well. All right, so you could have different hazards in your scene. Um, you could add a, a rigid body to this cube and you could add different properties to that. And so um, it could be an object that you could collide with. So you could add a um, collider. Well, it's actually already got a box collider, but you could um, have some collision detection there. So you could have different objects moving around your scene that you need to avoid, um, different hazards, and you could have events that occur if you run into those objects or if they're um, coming down or moving in front of you. All right, um, and you could script that as well. And you can also script the animation. So you can script an animation to start or stop, um, or start and stop when different events occur or different buttons are pressed. That's all that we'll look at though for this tutorial. So that's basic animation in Unity. Thanks for watching.